hi everyone welcome back to engineer tech up channel so in this session we will learn how to install jdk so last session just we have given the introduction of java and what is the jdk and all so now we will start the practical session first of all we will learn how to set up the java right for uh, java you have to install the jdk software then after installing the jdk software then how to set the path for the jdk uh, software then how to execute the code using the command prompt then we will learn how to execute your code using the edit plus so it's like a, a easy way to execute java code by using the edit plus why we use the edit plus because this is the simple editor so in real time we do not use edit plus okay so for practice purpose for java practice purpose in this session i am going to use edit plus editor okay so let's uh, understand how to uh, install jdk so go to the google and just type download jdk okay when you have a just you can click on the first link you can see uh, jdk uh, or java is acquired by the oracle so now this is the part of oracle so if you will click on this first link so you could see here the latest version of jdk is 21 version okay so one more thing i want to show you so here you can see 20 jdk 21 is the largest sorry latest long term support release okay so this is for long uh, long term support release so if you have this then you can go through this jdk and this is the stable version okay so now you can uh, click on you can go to you can see here we have a different flavor here linux mac or windows right so click on the windows and in this windows click on the 64 installer okay click on this link 64 installer and once it will install means it will sorry download click on this download link and once it will download so it's downloading guys so i'm just going to show you from the scratch level so already in there in my system but i have deleted that so let let's download it will take a few minutes to download once it will download we will install our software so simple you know you have installed many software before like this so this is the same also so i think it is download now go to download folder okay you can see it is download just i am going to click on this once you will click then click on yes then once just you can click on next next and it is installing so it will take few uh, second to install so once it will install then we can check java is, you can see this jdk 21 uh, java development kit is installed successfully close this go to the c drive okay uh, c drive when inside this c drive we have a program files in program files you can see we have a java folder in java we have a jdk folder so here our java is installed now what we can do we can just go to the environmental variable okay inside this environmental variable just go to the first we can go here till bin right just copy this path and after that uh, go to that environmental variable go to the path okay second one second it's not showing edit i think i have a wrong thing so again i'm just going for that environmental variable go here you can see guys sometimes it's so it's not able to edit that so let me try one more time i think i am selecting something wrong go this still it is not showing okay one second let me close this all and let me try again environmental variable okay so first option you have to select so i think i was selecting wrong one so now we can go for the environmental variable and now you can see here we have an edit option now right before the edit option was not coming so don't worry just i think sometime 
we are selecting wrong one go to that path edit and new okay so just paste this okay once you will paste this till bin okay go to that path and till bin and paste it and just click on okay that's it your we have set the path for jdk we have given the jdk you can have a, your java program anywhere we can execute this just open command from cmd and just check java install or not java hyphen hyphen version okay okay so now you can see in my system jdk 21 is installed okay so this is how you can uh, run you can install the jdk in your system now we will execute first program okay to execute uh, by using the command prompt the first steps we have completed how to install jdk and now the second step how to execute java program in command prompt okay so now uh, we'll what we'll do we'll create we'll create a one folder okay that folder name is so where i am just going to keep our uh, all java file okay i'll create a folder one second guys i'll create a folder so i'm just writing mohit java okay understood right so guys so i'm just executing the code by using the edit plus you can use any editor as your base okay so this is the edit plus uh one type of the editor so just you can go in the google and download this download download edit plus okay go to the free trial version and one more thing better you can go for the previous version okay they will ask you sometime uh i can say license but i'll tell you how to use without license so don't worry this you can see here download edit plus version okay so 64 bit in my system i have already once you will download you will get exe file okay so once you will just download right so you can see i'll show you how it looks like so it's downloaded in our download folder you can see so if you will click uh, it's like a installation like click and next 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 just click on that okay so once your uh, uh, installation is successful then you can just search edit plus so you will get this icon once you will open that so it will open like this okay so this pop-up will come because we are using a free version just drag it okay just drag it this and keep like this okay so one uh the, understood right just drag it and you can do like this i'm just going to close this i already opened that and let me close this okay and now once you will open this right after drag it then you can create one file new and you can see what what type of the program you are going to execute so i'm going to execute java program so you can see by default this code is coming so i will tell you each and everything this all line of the code what is the use of this as of now just i'm trying to execute this our setup is working fine or not once my setup will work fine we can start to write the code and we will understand each line of the code like we have a class keyword why we use this class keyword what is the use of main method what is public what is a static what is void so each line of the code we will explain you don't worry you will get confidence in the java guys so you should not like you have a you have your concept is very clear you know when you will follow this series guys so just keep a patience for few more session one and two session my next session will this is the one session we will explain you what is the use of class keyword what is public static wide main why we use what is what is system dot or dot print ln so everything we will uh, understand now this is your java file and here i am writing file name or technically this is called class name okay so demo test class name always start with caps if you have another word again caps 
t and test like this okay so we will discuss naming convention also what is the naming convention of this so now i will save you know i have created one folder right my folder name is mohit java remember this your extension will be dot java file understood right your extension will be dot java file okay again you have to ask the question what is dot java file if you will not save your file as a dot java extension jvm jdk will not understand understood right so you have to save this file as a dot java extension then only jvm and jdk will understand otherwise jdk will not understand what type of the file it is okay so i just save it now okay you can just i'll click on the save i'll keep here understood right so now you can see just we have written so i will go in the same location right where my save file is saved so i will go in the mohit okay so this folder so simply just here write cmd guys so it will open the command from for this path okay so you cannot going to type cd and all to go to the this path so directly we can reach here the first command when you will execute java code you have to compile the code next session we will discuss why we need to compile the code what is the use of compiler okay so what is the command for this java c or your file name so you have to type exactly what is your file name understood right one second let me close this okay so what is the file name demo okay demo test dot java you can see now my code is compiled successfully okay i will show you one magic if you will compile this code here you can see one more file is generated that is called class file so next session guys i will explain you everything before this file is not there when you will compile your code when your code is compiled successfully this file is you know generated when you will open this file you can see what happened this is something we are not able to understand okay this is called byte code this is called machine code only jvm will understand this language why we use this we will learn in the coming session so don't worry okay now i will tell you i just going to write some welcome to welcome to java okay understood right now just i change this print statement i'm now going to execute java demo test okay okay see one more thing i want to discuss i change after compilation i change this file right but still you can see the output is coming hello world so again you have to compile this code just press arrow uh, upper arrow right so again i will compile this code java c and again i am trying to execute java so how to execute your code java and your file name okay understood right so one second okay guys so what happened so when i change this file it was printing the old output hello world the problem is this file is not saved and second thing when you are changing the file or if you are doing any modification just close this cmd i was facing the same issue then again i'm i will open this file and again i will compile java demo test dot java okay now we have a java demo test okay so how to compile the code by using the command prompt so we can use java c demo test dot java and we have a java demo then we have a java and class name okay so you can see now you can see i'm getting welcome to java okay so this is how you can execute your code by using the command prompt but every time we can type this you know while doing the practice it will take time to you know we can go to the same location and again we are typing java c class name so what i can do i have a one shortcut so 
this thing we cannot do while doing the practice because we can save our time so what i can do in edit plus we have a, some shortcut to do the compilation and execution okay how to do that so let's do um, just go to the tools okay and go to the preferences user tools so here we have already this i'm just going to remove vr okay so again i'm going to tell you again you have to go in the tool preferences then you can go for the user tools i think it is not deleted let me delete one and apply it i think last time we did not apply that that's why it's not deleted so again i will go for the preferences then you can see groups so groups is keep by default then go to the add tools programs okay so here i can write here i can write compile compile click on this triple dot and go to the same location you know where we have a jdk in a jdk folder c drive program files java jdk bins so here you have to select java.c okay it will have a uh, this path then click on this file directory then again we have a uh, sorry file name this is you have to select file name then here you have to select file directory okay and click on apply as of now this is for compilation for execution we can also do again you can go for the add tools programs i'm just writing run okay run this command and now java okay argument here uh, select file name without extension here file directory okay and now again you can apply and click on okay guys okay so here what i can do now every time i should not go for uh you know command from and type java c and uh, file name dot java and again java so here you can see control plus one this is the shortcut it will compile our code and again you can do ctrls plus two it will execute our code okay so when i will press control one you can see compile the code and we'll press control two we are getting the direct output so when we will do this code you know when you will write lots of the code so it will save our time while doing the execution okay but you should know how to execute your java code uh in you know using the command from how to set the path how to install the path when you will join in the any company might be nothing is there you have to install from the scratch level you have to set up the environment of the java like you are a developer or you are automation test engineer right if you don't know how to install how to set the path you are getting some error you are not able to debug then it will create a problem so i think in this video that's it guys if you are new in the channel please subscribe my channel and press bell icon to get new video notification i have a planning to you know upload many videos because of some office work and all i am not able to upload video but yeah in the future i am planning to upload many videos so now we are working on your java okay how to so i just uploaded one video if you want to learn manual testing i have uploaded 35 videos guys okay so you can just go and explore your coming days after java we will work on the selenium as well right so before java you cannot have a selenium you know you will not understand selenium better way writing the code is not a big deal but how to implement as per real time uh, requirement right so that is the big deal understanding the code is the big deal okay so here you will get many uh, you know playlist as well like uh, interview related playlist real time related playlist just go and explore guys so that's it in video please do not forget to subscribe my channel and press bell icon if you have any doubt you can comment below definitely i will reply back to you thank you again see you in the next video bye bye